Hello everybody. Today I'm going to do tinga tostadas uh, and I'm going to start with the ingredients. Over here I have one pound of chicken breast and I put it to boil in five cups of water and I put uh, salt, pepper and a garlic and then I cut it in pieces like this, okay? And right here I have one medium onion and I cut it in pieces, half in, in pieces like this. And over here I have one teaspoon of uh, chicken flavor or consomme de pollo. I have my olive oil over here and I have two tomatoes over here and I slice it in little pieces. I have the tostadas over here, you can use any brand. And over here I have the chiles chipotle. I'm gonna be using like four together with the juice. And I have one garlic over here and one can of uh, tomato, tomato sauce. And this is eight ounces. And I have caldo de pollo from my chicken. So I have it over here in case I need it. Over here I have the sour cream and I mix this sour cream with uh, the heavy cream and I put uh, a little salt in it. And then uh, you just mix it together like this. And this is gonna be for our tostadas, okay? And over here I have the cheese that is gonna be on top. Over here I have the lettuce, tomato, and, and my onion that I'm gonna use for topping on my tostadas. So I'm gonna start by putting in the blender the tomato, the garlic, and the chipotles, okay? I'm gonna make the sauce. Okay, so over here I have four um, tablespoons of olive oil, and it's already hot, so I, I'm gonna put my chicken over here, right there. We're gonna start cooking it. We're gonna give it a little time. We leave it probably like for 10 minutes, okay? Okay, it's been cooking for 10 minutes. So now we're gonna put the onion. Over here. The tomato. And we're gonna let it cook for a little while until the onion get a little softer in the tomato. Okay, now it's time to put on the sauce. So this is the chipotle and the tomato and the garlic together. So now this is the reason why I need the, the caldo de pollo. So I rinse the blender. Well, this is a bullet, it's not a blender. And just put the juice over here. The consomme. And the salt is on your taste, but I'm not putting salt. I'm just putting the consomme because that has salt. So if you need more, you know, it's up to you. So I'm gonna taste it and see how it is on the salt. But you can always try it. And if, it's, if it needs more, you can always put more. So I'm just gonna let it cook in here. Okay, after 40 minutes, or less than 40 minutes, we already got the tinga. And as you can see, it's not too dry because we're gonna use it on the tostadas. And it's not too wet either.
okay so we go to the next step and we're gonna make the tostada okay so i'm gonna start making my tostada i got my pinga over here and everything i'm gonna need for my tostada over here so i take one of the tostadas and i start with the chicken first put everything over here This is a tinga right here. And now we're going to put the lettuce over here. More. The tomato. And the onion over here. We put our cheese on top and you can al always use you know cheese uh, fresco queso fresco they give it a real good flavor so i only got this one today and our cream i put uh, a little more heavy cream so it can be like this 